Red, we'll, t we'll turn it over to you. Okay, thanks very much. Chris, if you can monitor the uh, I got it. I got those it. there, that would be fantastic. Well, welcome, everybody. Good to be here. And unfortunately, I've got no snazzy news backgrounds and logos for my seven-day recap in on Passive. Uh, but here goes. Uh, as always, I shall put this up on uh, my YouTube channel and probably put in the update section of your O Founders back office so that you can uh, send it out to your organization if they need to get up to date. So what's been happening then over the last seven days in on passive? Well, let's go back to Thursday of last week. That's the 21st of March. And we had a couple of things going on there. The first one was if you are a uh, iPhone user on uh, the iOS, oh, sorry, an Android user, uh, that it was a new update for your OES app. Okay. Uh, and you should now be on a couple of new versions. If you're on uh, Android for the OES app, you should be on 1.0.4.7. OK, that was updated on Thursday. And we've also <laughs> since then had an update for your iOS, which is uh, Apple. And I'll get to that in a couple more days on this recap. Also, on the 21st of March, we had uh, the links in your ecosystem updated. Now, we've been on number 57 for a while now. And on Thursday, they updated the last three web pages that is now going to 58 59 and 60 were added to the my links section of your ecosystem so if you liked those websites and it is something you want to share out to people go and have a look at those just copy them paste them into any browser window uh into the url section at the top and you'll be able to view exactly what they look like these are coded to you guys uh, so if you want to send them out to people, you can do. Friday then, 21st of March, what on, on Friday? We had a new video from Omedia, and this was to do with the collaboration through Dr. Susan uh, Mohammed Kamal with the Arab League. Now, this is a big deal, guys, this uh, collaboration that we have with the Arab League. It's the Arab League of Nations, uh, so it's a conglomerate of uh, all of those uh, guys in that area. Uh, and Omedia released this in uh, Arabic and also in English. Go and have a look at it. It really does show uh, the collaborations we are making with various countries uh, around the Arab nation. So uh, it was fantastic to see. Also, Friday, we saw our CEO on uh, a combined Let's O with Ron and Minou. He came on there, looked very relaxed again, guys, brought us up to date with a few things that were going on. Uh, this has been recorded, uh, also posted in the update section of your O Founders. That was put there on Saturday by Marty. And it's also been shared on many, many uh, YouTube channels as well, uh, all over the place. So go and check that out. That happened on Friday, 22nd of March. Saturday, the 23rd of March, what happened on that? We had the update of the new OES app in iOS, which is Apple. And the latest up-to-date version of that is 1.0.11. So check that out. How do you check which you, if you are on the latest version of the iOS app on your mobile device? Very easy, guys. Log into it. Top left-hand corner, you will see three dashes. Click on this, okay, and at the top, that brings down a menu bar. But at the top, you'll see on passive. And to the right of on passive, it will say V, which is version. And then the numbers I've either said 1.0.11 if you are on a Apple device or if you're on Android, 1.0.4.7. That is the latest up-to-date versions. Also, remember last week, there was an update on the O-Connect app as well uh, if you are using OConnect on a mobile device. Make sure you check that out. That was on Android only. Also, guys, uh, Sunday. What happened on Sunday? 
uh well late saturday early sunday morning depending on where you were uh in the world uh we had a family reunion in png marty has mentioned this on many times uh this was late for you guys in the states very early for us people over in europe and it was midday-ish or early morning for you guys over in, in india and asia and once again our CEO graced his presence uh, with the family. Again, it was great to see him. We were, he was very relaxed. Uh, he was taking questions from uh, David Bacow and other people as well. And if you want to listen to the full transcript of this, a recording has been put by Marty in the update section of your O Founders back office. And you can go and view it all there and on many other YouTube channels as well. Uh, Monday then, uh, what happened on Monday? Bank holiday, guys, in India. That's what happened on Monday. It's holly. It's where they throw around a load of colours. It's a colour festival over there. Uh, so not a lot as far as on Passive went on on Monday. Uh, we didn't see the normal website on Monday because of the bank holiday they had in India. But sure as eggs is eggs, on Tuesday, we had that brand new website. Go and check it out if you haven't seen it already. On Passive.com is the place to go. And you will see once again, to commemorate Holly, lots of bright oranges were put into it as well uh, to give that vibrant colour that is also traditional with Holly on the Monday. Omedia then uh, released a February recap uh, on Tuesday that we've just seen. Uh, that was really cool to watch. I thought it was fantastic to see what happens behind the scenes of on passive just because we don't see any of these in our ecosystems uh or on the websites does not mean to say that on passive are not continually working behind the scenes making collaborations and new partnerships with many many people businesses countries in and governments all but for our benefit behind the scenes wednesday then was a quiet day on on passive uh but thursday today i will recap this again uh we've had a 10-day extension now to o connect and this brings us uh to 13 days in the future from today that's it from me marty back to you back to you marty <laughs> fantastic i, I was muted because it's background noise um Chris, we'll move on to you, buddy. Go ahead. Yeah, let me knock uh, Boomy out of here. I got, I got uh, it. Well, guys, you I've know, got them now, Chris. You got it? okay. Um, wow, um, I'm speechless. I really am speechless because all the things that's happened. Uh, as you said, last week I went fishing for the whole week. I never worried about anything that was going on, and. A lot of things went on. I was excited to come back and actually see what's going on. And I kind of wish a lot of people would do that. Just go about your day, enjoy yourself or do your job or take care of your family. Let Ashba Fair do all this work and keep going at this. Um, I, I, I came across a couple of things. I want to explain to you something about me real quick. Yeah, I'm going to make it about me for five seconds here. I think every, both these guys will probably want to hear this too. It's uh, I'm doing what makes, Makes me happy. I am responsible for my happiness and I owe it to myself. Happiness is a choice. You can be happy at any time, just choose to be. Um, this is for a lot of people that question me what I'm doing. Um, it was my choice to do this. I'm 100% in this, have been since I started. I love everything that it's about and what it's doing because it's about helping individuals, people, companies, organizations, humanity, the world. Um, never in my life I came across anything that's that special, okay? That is that special for all of us. Uh, we came in because we found out we could probably earn a really good income. Ooh, they're happy. That's a bonus. That's a bonus, and I realized that uh, – it's going to be a huge bonus. The product's just coming out with Connect. Uh, I'm still, I'm still got goosebumps over it. I'm still blown away about it. Um, the other companies out there that might be listening, watch out. We're here. 
Uh, we're not we're not trying to knock you out. We're just trying to show the world a better way, a better product. Uh, that's what we're doing. We invite anyone that wants to be in this platform, be in this company, be in this big heart of a company to come on in, try, try out our three products. Uh, you can check out any founder that you've seen talking about a passive, whether it be a live or a post, and at least check it out. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain, that famous saying, and that's the honest to God truth. Uh, we got people from every single country in the world. And I want to say this during, the, you know, right now we see a lot of political people coming on asking for money to help them put them in office. Hey, listen, the only, the only thing that's going to change this world, in my opinion, is people. All right. We have a company right now. Basically, when you join this company, you are investing in yourself. It's not an investment, but I say you're investing in yourself. This is the first company that's going to be worldwide where individuals like myself, Fred and Marty, are able to talk with people from all over the world uh, and realize that, yeah, we do have some differences, but, man, we all got families. We all got that dream to do what we like when we like. Uh, only company I've ever seen. You guys know my story. You know Red's story. You know Marty's story. Now, over 40 years for me working for the man listening to what they said, being there on his on his dime, his clock. And I did that. Uh, I want to change that for anyone that's behind me now and generational. I don't want you to have to do 40, 50, 60 years. I don't want you to have to worry about missing something in your family because you have to go to work. All right, that, that's a big, big thing uh, that I love about Impassive. One thing that it instilled in my head is, man, you mean – we're going to change people so they don't have to go to work where they can earn an income, uh, have that time and freedom to do what they want when they want. That's very powerful. There's not many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did it for 32 years. I can do what I want when I want it after working a 12 hour day. You see what I'm saying? There's a big difference there. Red at his restaurant. He wasn't running himself. He had to go in there every single day and make sure the menus are right. The food was cooked. That the place was clean. All these responsibilities we talk about by owning a company or a business, you don't have to do. And that there's a plus. Not have to worry about uh, the foods cooked properly. The floors are clean. Someone came in from late. You don't have enough staff. We don't have to worry about any of that stuff. All right, people out there, look at this. They said it's impossible. It's it's not impossible. He's actually doing it right now. Uh, not for himself, for all of us, which I've said a, a thousand times. One of the things you only hear me repeat. The people in Unpassive are going to change the world. We often use Papua New Guinea about what they're going to do. They have over 13,000 founders in PNG, Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea, if you know their story, there's a lot of bad in there. Uh, people dying because there's not no hospitals. There's no roads. On passive, oh, bless, when it gets here, it's going to change all that. 13,000 people in on passive in Papua New Guinea are going to change it better for them. And, of course, the other million-plus people are going to turn around and, and give them a little bit of help. But they're going to do it on their own. Each of us have to look at our own communities. All right? I, I look at oh, bless as wow. Oh, oh bless is a very powerful, going to be a very powerful uh training educational tool knowing that i go in my community uh, community and uh gather a few people and say listen this is what we got let's find some people and let's change it uh papa new guinea they know they know what they're going to change it into we talked about people that died in papa new guinea because there was not a road to get them where they needed to be uh this is unpassive i talk about looking out a different window every day all right and when I say that, you really got to think about looking out a different window. Most of, us, most of us have spent our whole lives looking out the same windows. Maybe it was that little window from work. Maybe it was your front window from home. But you saw the same thing over and over and over. On Passive wants to give you a different view. On uh, Passive wants to help in everything that you have, period. There, there's nothing bad in On Passive. Uh, 
things are moving along a lot more than we know about it. A lot of people have questions, and I say, listen, you don't have to question it. Just let it happen. Yeah, we've said that for a while, but you really do got to let it happen. We're a different we're a different animal than we were four weeks ago, than we were a year ago, two years ago, when they first started this. This company has evolved. Why? Because the blood flow to that heart is getting bigger each, each and every day from individuals all over the world that wants change. Politicians have never changed this world in a non being political. For just people are going to change this world. Trust me on that. All right. We let too many people guide us when I think they're leading us down the wrong road. I think in passive has got us on the right path, the right road. And uh, we're going to show the world very soon about what we're all about and what it is. It's about love. This isn't about coming in and knocking people down, wiping them out. We're talking about sliding right in and just showing the world the greatest technology in the world, the greatest products in the world. It's all coming. If you do not believe me, you can go get a free trial of O-Connect and check it out, which is going to be our leading, I believe, our leading product for what's what's left to come. And a lot is left to come. And he started out, he told us this a long time ago. We're going to have a product that's going to lead the way. But it's going to keep improving. You heard Marty talk about greatness. Uh, it's an amazing company. Uh, be thankful. I want to wish everyone a very, very happy Easter to the Christians out there. God bless you all. Thank you, Jesus Christ and the Lord for what you gave us. You came here to do good. And uh, even even Jesus Christ, even God gets naysayers. Remember that. Ash Mafara, he's not a God. He's a very smart man who cares about people. And I wish a lot more people were like Ash Mafara because the world would be a lot better place. So God bless you if you got a birthday. If you are sick and you know who you are, we're praying for you. And thanks for all the prayers for everyone. Uh, Marty DeGarmo, I'm sending it back to you because you just gave that funny look. Back to you, buddy. Uh, I've got bad news for you. That funny look is freaking built in, okay? I didn't give you anything. I was born with that thing, okay? Anyway, can you guys hear me okay So, Okay. Uh, the, the thing, one of the things Chris touched on, and to me is really a big deal, and I brought it up. I, I know we bring up stuff over and over and over, but I find that some people, maybe during this time, they're not listening or whatever, because I've had people come back after a webinar and I, something was said, either by Red or somebody, and they go, well, I didn't know that. Uh, that goes on every day, everybody. If you do get it and I repeat it, that's okay. It's not going to hurt anybody. But the point is, when great is not good enough, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. And that's where we're at. We're going to uh, take over the world. That, different stuff. Look, I'm not I'm not thinking, I don't think I'm past it's going to change the world in a week or two weeks. But if you give enough people choice, and these are good-hearted people, people that we've all met, uh, I don't know how many thousands I've met, and I'm past them, obviously, tens of thousands more than I would have met in my regular life. I mean, there's no way we would know each other. The, the chance of me meeting Chris or Red would be zero out without on passive. We met, me and Red met other places, but we were on that same journey of, is there something there that's legit? In fact, I remember a conversation that I had with Red, and here's what he said. I'm paraphrasing. I'm not, this is going to be exact. He said, Marty, you're a great, no, no. Here's what he said. This is for real. He said, I can't help myself. He said, Marty, I'll tell you what, the next business I look for, it has to be products, a product-based business in high demand, right? Something something like that. And I went, that's you darn right. Because we were in a business for the year before, six years ago, that I'm not sure what the product was. But like, like a blind mouse, three blind mice, Marty, Mike, and Dan, because we were we were dedicated, and he'd say we did, we went about 11 months too long. <laughs> Red dumped out in six months, I believe, but not us. We went right down to the bottom. Uh, but anyway, it's stuff like that. 
Seriously, it gets very dis I remember a phone call, another one from Red. He was somewhere, wasn't in this country, somewhere else. And I said, hey, are you going to start doing videos or something like that? I don't know if he remembers. Yeah, when I get home. I said, yeah, do that. Because at that time, there was few and far between. I think Scott Nelson had already passed away. God, you know, I'm sorry to hear that. But And then Mike had a few, but we... And that's where things started moving. And and yes, I believe in the beginning, we were selling to myself too, a hope and a dream. I believed in the dream and I hope it happened. <laughs> but I don't have that anymore. I haven't had that for two or three years. Every day, I I have to almost pinch myself thinking, not only is this big, it's bigger than big. Like, I can't even wrap my head around. As soon as I try to go there, you go 50,000 feet, and you look up, and you can't see the end of it. You still can't see the end of it. Even after you, and I don't have conversations with Chris and Red, and sometimes we'll, we'll veer off into what if. And it's scary, man. You get to that thing, and you're going, okay, let's, let's just stop. I mean, this is too much. But it's a fun, it's fun, okay? It's fun to know that it's unlimited. And I mean that for everyone. Listen, when I was when I was in MLM, and I, and I want to say that, I said in my life, but I want to say this. You were limited on how much you could make. And worse than that is, if you made more, they charged you more. To, to maintain a level, let, let, I'm going to give you an example. Let's say you broke even. Fireworks are going off. There's a great thunder in the sky. But the next month, you made 50 bucks. Okay, that's it. You're shutting down the farm. You're, you're celebrating. You, you spent every cent you had because you only made 50 bucks. But the point is, when you celebrate and you did all that, the company would slide in and say, for you to get to the next level, instead of you spending $200 a month, you got to spend $300 a month. This is no joke. I mean, some people may not know because they didn't get past that level. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. So what's my limit? And then I would look at their pay structure, and the pay structure had a limit. So wait a minute, I'm allowed to help you make more money, but I have a limit. And the answer is, yeah, that is exactly how it works. And on passive, not only do we don't have to play the shenanigans about auto ship and all that. Listen, do we pay for the products every month? Yes, but here's what was said. You pay one time out of pocket and then you can pay from your commissions. That's the goal of the company. That was the foundation from very first day. That hasn't changed. None of that changed. It's exactly what was said. It's exactly what's going to happen. Did it happen in the time frame that John Smith wanted or Buster Brown? No. It happened at the time that it it's supposed to happen. You can't you can't speed it along. I guarantee if you could talk to Edison and said, "Hey, would you like this light bulb to work?" The first week he did it, and he go, oh, "Yeah." I think he tried a thousand times, a thousand times he had to do it to make it work. But what does everybody remember today? They remember they clicked that switch and that freaking light went on. That's it. They they don't care about the journey. They could care less. They click that switch. We take it for granted. We have light. That's on passive. But we're fortunate. We get to sit at the table while, while Edison, Mr. Mufara, builds this business. We get to be part of it. Let me tell you something. No matter what you think, that'll be one of the most things you cherish the most. I don't care how much you make. When you could go back and say, I was there then. I just believe that's going to be phenomenal. Somebody else say something before I hurt myself. Chris, somebody. Hello, my name is Chris Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you can see, uh, it looks like our CEO, Ashmi Farrow, is uh, joining us. Uh, as soon as he puts his camera on, we'll turn it all over to uh, him, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, but just going off Marty, uh, what he was saying uh, about this business. There is a really good saying, which is the early bird catches the worm. And for many of us here have been part of On Passive uh, through the journey from the beginning. 
That really is a true statement. Why? Because our CEO here decided, if I'm going to do this, let's bring some people with us. You know, many of the big companies that you see out there, they just appear uh, with their products, with their services, and they market to the users out there, hoping that they can sell their products and services. What our CEO did was he said, this is what I'm going to do. This is my vision. This is what I want to try and achieve. I would love you to come along for the journey with me. I really feel that many of us have been privileged to take the same journey with Ashmi Farah without oh. the heartache. Remember, we are shadowing what he is teaching us all the way. We are not having to go through the heartache that he is going through on a daily basis. But one thing is for sure, guys, and that is I'm sure we can all see now the fruits of his labor. We can all see how big this business really is. We've just shown you a video of February that Omedia put out. Just that alone in one month should inspire you to know that how much is work that the company are working behind the scenes for the benefit not only of the company but also us, the users and affiliates within it. It really is a privilege to have a ringside seat. That is what we have been able to have with On Passive. We have taken every step of the way with our CEO, with the company from those early days and. In a very short period of time, guys, that early bird will have its worm. That's all I've got for now. Back to you, Marty or Chris. Go ahead, Marty. Oh, okay. I don't know if you had anything or not. Yeah, I mean, we could chat about this all day. It, it, it's it all a mindset. For what, I under, what I see is what are you thinking? What is your mindset? What My mindset is... I'm so happy to be here. I can't stand it. I mean, I know even what I don't know, the picture that's been painted to this point is a Rembrandt. I mean, what else can we go? By? If you just go by what we've seen, that's it's, it's massive. It's massive. I mean, look at what they're doing. That video alone said what happened just in February. This is a company that's on the move, but it's big enough that they're moving behind the scenes. They're not waiting for, founders in New Jersey or somewhere to help them change the tire, okay? We don't have to do anything. All that work's being done. It's going to be done for us. And I, trust me, when the baby comes out, you'll forget about all, all the labor pains. It's just the way it is. Uh, I don't know how many times in a journey it seems like maybe two weeks went by and people get all twisted about, oh, my God, the sky is falling. And then we hear something, and it's massive. They actually forget all about this big anxiety thing, which they shouldn't have anyway, but people are people. And a few weeks later, oh, oh, that's why I say, I don't go through the waves of that and how you get out of it is, believe, get tied in, look at what's going on, use your common sense. Look at what the company has done. I don't care, it doesn't matter what they're doing. If you just look at what they've done, some some of the organizations that we've teamed up with, what more do we need? And that to me is so powerful. Look at and and I'm looking back. I'll hear people say something, and I go, "But if you put everything together, don't you know that answer?" I believe the answer to most of the questions we have are there. They may not be exactly what one, people want to hear. I want to have a debate. I was told today. I'm not going to debate somebody that doesn't believe in unpassing. Why would I do that? A debate means you might win and I might go your way. That's a debate. I don't want to debate. I'm not going your way and I don't care what you think. I've been around a while, okay, 64 years old. I know everybody could go out there and say whatever they want to say. Oh, I'm a marker. I'm a marker. Yeah, and I'm a ballerina. I'm a ballerina, okay? I Listen, I'm not. You know I'm not. People say they're markers. Let me tell you what. You learn how to shovel quicker than the dirt falls in, then you're a marketer. Other than that, you can buy traffic. You can do all this nonsense. And you stop one day, one hour, and your business slowly gets smaller and smaller and smaller and disappears. Because why? 
everybody's gonna have the same mindset you do i'm gonna go do or die or not no ash has that mindset all we gotta do is jump on the magic carpet we don't have to do any heavy lifting i don't have to change light bulbs i don't have to sweep the parking lot i don't have to do squat and when it gets going the benefit of all what they did we get all the presents they do all the heavy lifting we're going to do all this work and we're going to share the revenue with a a few people right we know who we are and you go wow but what about me and what about this and what about what about what let it go just calm down we're all we're in a good place and if, if if after two years and that's minimum that everybody has been here after two years if you have some kind of issue about i'm passive this is for me personally not the company i do not work for the company if i had that feeling there would only be a couple of people on the screen right now i wouldn't say no i'm not kidding i wouldn't say why would i say in something that i had this oh my god you know i don't at all zero and you shouldn't either Unless you could go to plan B. Oh, by the way, there was like thousands of people in Unpass that went to plan B. Guess where they are now? I'm just saying. Fact is, there is no plan B. Plan B is let me get back to plan A as soon as I can, right? That's what plan B is. Or you're really dumb and you slam the company and leave and I'm going to do this. And the company that's saving your life is now out of business. <laughs> it's really sad. Anyway, um, no, but you're in a good place. All the information is there. The painting has been started well enough that you can look at it and say, wow, this is a masterpiece. Take the time. Don't worry about what didn't happen. Look at what did happen. If you could do that, I mean that. I don't care who you are, what country, what language. If you could look at what's been done up to this point, you should have a smile on your face. That's my opinion. And, and I don't, sometimes I don't get, and it's not a lot of people. We, the core of this company is growing every day. The Apple has never changed its size, right? We have X amount of founders. That's it. But I think the inner core is getting bigger and stronger and stronger and stronger. And the ultimate is you have a core all the way to the peel. Then you know you're doing good. And we're getting better every day. I see diamonds coming out every day. People doing stuff they would have never done. On passive doesn't make you who you are. It makes you believe in what you can do. Big difference. So I'm done talking. Chris, I, I know you have something to say. I do have something to say. Oh. Uh, okay, you're done. Red? No, 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 no really. I'm, I, I'm joking. I'm joking. You know, as you say that and as I listen to all you guys speak, I do. I walk away from people who don't know my value. All right? I, I know my value. I know what my worth is. Uh, I know what Ash Mafara, I know Marty Red, I know what their worth and their value is. And that's why I hang out with you guys. Um, and Passive has taught me to look the other way on people that just want to be not positive, just negative all the time. If uh, if I learned anything, if that's all I ever got out of in Passive, which I know there's a lot more coming, I'm pretty content with that. I've listened to people my whole life. I've had ideas in my head that I want to do for years, and I always let some uh, non-believing person knock me down or talk me out of it. And that's what happens when you work in a big workplace for many years that, uh, listen, some people are all set just because they got a job in the auto factory. Uh, it held me back because every time I came up with something or had a better idea, there'd be someone in that building, and I should have learned never to tell them ideas in the first place would knock me down and I'd listen to them. Sometimes when you get one of those J-O-Bs and you think you're set, you're not set. It's just holding you back. It's great to make money. It's great to have a decent job. But man, if you got something in your heart you really want to do and you never do it, you are going to the grave with one big regret. And as you get older, those regrets get a lot heavier. I think a passive is going to take a, any regret that I did have in my life, I'm going to get it back. I'm going to get it back, and Impassive is going to help me do it. That's why I believe in Impassive. I look at it as a way that I'm going to own an island someday, okay? Because I've always wanted to since I was a kid. I'm not throwing my dreams away, but then I'm going to buy three more islands just for people that's never had the opportunity just to even be near the water. Let them get on that island. you got to think beyond yourself. In other words, 
the dream that you had, think about there's a million other people that got the same dream, but they're never going to get there. With well, a passive, you will get there. This is why all three of us and many of us have pushed people to the limit of hearing us talk about on passive, what it can do. Uh, and, of course, we have people that don't believe, and that's normal for anything. And that's okay. I will love waving to them from my island and saying, how you doing? You know, and, and maybe they're in one of those snowy states, but I don't want ever want to be in again. But that's the possibilities. Change your window. Change the front door you're going to walk out of every single day. Wouldn't that be nice? And I don't mean walking out your front door because you got to go to the job. Change it so when you're walking out your front door, you're going to go do something that you've always wanted to do. Maybe it was build a boat. Maybe it was start a little league uh, baseball team or football team. Or maybe a, a, a dance for, for little girls and learning how to teach them how to dance. Or boys, same thing. There's a lot of things that you can't. Well, listen, I'm going to tell you straight up. I made good money my whole life. And the things I want to do wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. I think I'm passive. Yeah, well, let me say that. Strike that. You know I'm passive is enough. And it's going to keep growing on me. Growing, growing, growing. Unlimited. Ask before I said it many times. Unlimited. That doesn't mean unlimited cash. That means unlimited. Your dreams are unlimited. So if you think about wanting something your whole life and you're not in passive, keep working, man. You might get it in 50, 60 years. By then your knees are going to be out. Your back's going to be out. What good is climbing a mountain if you can't climb it? A passive's giving me the tool so I can climb that mountain. All right? Think about that for a second. How many of you always said I wanted to climb a mountain? Oh, when you're 21, you think you are invincible. When you're 58... Things hurt a little bit more when you fall <laughs> and you don't bounce as good as you used to. But you know what? I didn't lose hope. I ain't in a hospital. I still talked about a passive because I believe in it. I believe it's going to change so many lives, but I also believe it's going to change the world for really, really the better. I, I'll say it again. I think a passive, and here he comes, is going to stop wars from coming because people are going to learn to work together through this wonderful company. Ash Mafar, my brother, how are you doing? Back to you. I'm doing great. Thank you for the invitation. I am invited here. Uh, I have to tell you, you have to be someone to be invited here. And I made it. Finally, I get to invite it on 0360 on Thursday. That's Not the right. regular one. Not the, the regular one. one. That's yeah. right. Uh, one thing we know that we have to change the time, guys, if you want me to be here. It's like in the middle of the day, most uh, jammed and productive time of the day. And uh, it's either you make it, uh, I don't know. February 30th. <laughs> Five o'clock. Tell us the time and it's done. Or, or join uh, Raminu. It's Ramen. not Ramen Noodle. Yeah, Raminu. Raminu. Uh, I'm not sure what the topic is. I try to catch a couple of uh, statements here uh, when I come in. I hear you. I probably sense some anticipation here and there. Uh, I kind of like some somewhat envy you for that position to be just not to be a part of the chaotic uh, process uh, on the safe side, on the safe bank of the process. That's a good. But on the other side, uh, I'm sure there are some incredible, deserving, curious leaders who would like to be in the kitchen. Or as they would say, uh, fly on the wall. However, uh, unfortunately, 
we couldn't continue doing that. That's what I wanted to do in the beginning. I wanted to take everybody to the kitchen and uh, it sounds like a bit, at some point it became like a little hazardous in a way. Uh, and uh, we just don't want you to get burned somehow. And we had to clear that up. Uh, what I could share with you based on yesterday's uh, meeting with the legal uh, team that is working with us on uh, the payment processor case. As you know, there are two major processors who are holding uh, the revenue that came in from OConnect up until now. Uh, two major ones. I mean, there are some tiny ones, and we cleared some of it, but uh, the main balance remains in reserve for some. Uh, we also shared uh, previously that some of, or actually the track that we were on, it took us about three plus months, nearly four months on the wrong track with the wrong people. Not that they uh, failed to deliver, but they failed to deliver on the projected time initially, so they kind of stretch the process. Uh, I don't think it's intentional, but obviously it was something so simple that the time when when it exceeded what it should take, it made it a bit more uh, complex. So we had to contract a complete different team uh, to do that. Uh, we've been, this is the third week technically on the uh, case with these people. Uh, there's no doubt from the very beginning that we are going to win this case. There's absolutely no doubt. And it's not a surprise what we heard yesterday. Uh, we heard the date. So we got a re resolution, we got the date. I, probably uh, it's advisable that I shouldn't share the date publicly, uh, but uh, the good news, we got it solved or uh, at least we knew there was not uh, any false on our side, okay? And uh, there would be somebody responsible for that uh, hurt that we got as a return of that. It's a couple of months delay. I understand that. And uh, we know that we have a date very soon and uh, this will be behind us. So that's the biggest thing in my mind. I'm going to go back and say it's almost like you're one of those who are pushed behind the door, got to stay there and wait. We'll tell you the results of the either a star is being born or I don't know, or cooking a meal. Uh, you just got to be outside for a bit. Give us some space. We'll uh, we'll give you the result. It's, it's, it's good in a way. A lot of people prefer it that way. Just tell me. I mean, sounds familiar, maybe. Uh, tell me when you're done. OK, so anyone heard that before? Yeah. As, uh, but speaking of that, tell me when you're done. Do you know what the bed or the, the blanket told the bed? I'm afraid to ask. I got you covered. Yes. I got you covered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there you go. There you go. So that, that is the main thing. So we got you covered. That's what, what matters to you. We got you covered. You're definitely in a position that you may not understand the uh, capacity, the value, the magnitude of it fully. Uh, I do. And uh, 
I hope you're not surprised. In fact, some of our staff, we're a broad company now, uh, they don't even know by design all the details and the mechanics. This business sounds like, I thought we could play everything uh, in a, an open way, like an open source type of application. Uh, but it looks like the business nature requires some uh, privacy and confidentiality. We're uh, definitely building a new level of immunity and uh, a new level of uh, confidence, uh, absolutely. Because if, if you go through what we went through, uh, your, your potential and tolerance become much greater. Well, that's one thing uh, I have to share with you. Uh, I have just came across the very best website uh, in 2024 so far, three months already in the year. And uh, it's called uh, www.onpassive.com, I believe. It is gorgeous. Check it out, onpassive.com. What a beauty. It's a beautiful website, and thank you to our design team once again. Uh, they are up in their own game. We uh, will announce uh, the release of Otrim mobile app. In fact, the Google Play uh, or Play Store is already there. Uh, I just hope you do that responsibly if you want to do it without waiting for our go. But uh, also, the uh, App Store is coming up by Apple. It's just a couple of days probably or so. It's in the process. They tend to take a little longer. But uh, once that all done, we can announce and you can, of course, we will add it to the back office where you could have Otrim also on your uh, mobile device. And last probably topic I want to say, uh, overall, I, I really want you to give yourself a buffer or a breather in a way where we have been talking about this for a bit and we have seen things okay uh in practicality things don't go exactly as you wish all the time and uh you become more aware more knowledgeable you gain more experience uh throughout the process and you uh either have more people on board your team or you team up with others outside, externally and you definitely learn and, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a healthy thing uh, it is wise to consider that and apply that additional knowledge that you didn't know let's say a while ago i believe it's unwise to have all of that and just uh, kind of like ignore it and not to make any use of it. Uh, so we should be open to the fact that why not improve if we're able to? What we know today far better, bigger, broader than what we knew before. And we should allow and accept the fact that, yeah, let's uh, kind of take advantage of this new uh, experience and expertise that we've gained. And I think uh, 
uh, we, we just shouldn't be all stuck to something that we've uh, fantasized in our childhood and it's going to happen this specific way. Uh, it's a different life. It's a different uh, field. And I hope you think like me uh, positively. Uh, take it with a better thing because uh, you, you're better today than uh, before when we started the process. And if uh, if you apply that, that's actually a powerful thing. Um, and you want to be with somebody that who is a, on a constant growth uh, journey. You don't want to be with somebody who is kind of like static. It's this way, this way. We have somewhat um, an unbelievable boldness and stubbornness on the principles, on the direction. But perhaps it is very healthy for us to make justific uh, justifications or enhancements and improvement on the minor details as long as you get there. Uh, one of the ironic things in life, uh, and we see that throughout the internet uh, quite often th these days, uh, if people are programmed in a certain way, and if you're just exactly on that lane, you uh, you would accept me. Or if I'm with you on the same exact track, you would accept me. But if I'm exactly on the same direction, but using a different method or a different approach, you oppose me. And it looks like everybody on off that track, like you, you, yourself, maybe someone else that you know on that lane, they're all good, you you accept it, but anybody else is totally unacceptable. Or like you would even uh, kind of clash with them. You see that a lot in social media, the non-traditional so, uh, social media. Uh, a lot of people agree on the same thing, politics too. Uh, let me tell you something about America. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> okay. Uh, we all agree on the same thing, but if you're not speaking the same exact dialogue, it's like you're an enemy. You shouldn't be that way. But we we believe we want the same thing technically. And um, so you want to go to New Jersey. That's a beautiful destination. You might have a different method. Everybody has their own way to get there as long as you get there or you're in that direction doesn't matter how you do so if, if somebody is not on the same exact aisle of your airplane or whatever it doesn't mean they're bad or their intention is bad so i just want i hope i'm delivering the fact that we should be a little bit more flexible dynamic and accepting uh, different approaches as long as we get there. That's prepping for something that is probably a change, but a, I, I'm, I'm also preparing you. It, we should always accept that it could be better. Uh, it should be better because we know better now. We know more. And I did not prepare again. I don't have any thought other than uh, what I just shared with you, mostly. Uh, because if I have to stay here, I'm going to be charging over time. If I don't see you by Sunday, happy Easter, everyone. Thank you so much. Somebody's going to be looking for... I mean, are you going to do egg hunting? Uh, OK. I uh, bought a barbecue sauce case for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to you, brothers. So uh, whoever want to take it over. Thanks so much, Ash. Thanks for popping in. Of course. Thank you, Ash, for coming in. <clears throat> Yo, brother. Thank you, brother. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, go? No, you don't have to go. You can hang out for five more seconds. Come on. Okay. What I think we should. Uh, I think Marty and Chris. I think we should maybe uh, move the time so that Ash can hang out for. Yeah, I was uh, gonna say, give me. Time. Now I like I like Omenono Ron. That's a good time. I mean, I think that's a great opportunity, but. Or early in the morning because the, before things get. Uh, what about early in the morning? What's early? <laughs> what all, time zone? Like five o'clock in the morning. Well, our time zone. Don't worry about red. He's prone. To get <laughs> <laughs> no, we could do it. We could do it early. Earlier would be easier than later. Really yeah. easier for red. Yeah, then. Yeah, it's better for, me. for me. all of us actually. Yeah, you come and up with better, the probably better for Ash because he he's busy scheduled and he can carry on and do this, your thing. This is something where you have to make an executive decision, Ash. This is your your calling. It's your decision. We could do we could do like uh, I don't want to do it while the kids are going to school. Uh, eight o'clock. Is that too early? Uh, earlier, better. Yeah. 8 a.m. would be okay or 6 a.m.? Earlier. 6. Like five, six, seven. All right, 6. I can do it beforehand. That, that's not bad. It's just... What day? Wednesday? Eight. Wednesday or Thursday? What's a good day? Well, we're normally Wednesday. It's only because I had a funeral yesterday. You had fishing. Right. And... Uh, and I'm just left. in New Jersey, so... Yeah. <laughs> I... I do want to uh, also uh, make a commitment, so you change it for me. So do what's best for you, but uh, I'm just saying. It's easier uh, for you at early. This, this is the middle of the day, yeah. If there's more chance of seeing you, uh, then... You don't know who I had to leave, okay? So <laughs> to be... Uh, no, seriously, you don't know. And... They're pissed. Well, we don't want we don't want that, Ash. We want you to we want you to uh, do your thing. So well, we just want it more convenient, Ash. It's more yeah. convenient for it. When you come yeah. on, you come on. So we no. could do uh, six <laughs> o'clock in the morning, right? Six o'clock on Wednesdays. Yeah, sounds okay. good to me. That actually does get more people, by the way. Yeah, we got a lot of people today. Worldwide, people. worldwide, probably. Yeah. Okay, that's what it is. Six o'clock. What, what you should do is is set three different times, okay, and announce them. No, I, I'm not joking. In <laughs> over a two week uh, period, and see which one uh, gets better results. The one that you show up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, he's going to show up in the one Assuming life, right? I'm going to pop on all of them. <laughs> And see which one catches more. Yeah, we're uh, not we're not that special, Ash. It's when you come on and give us that. You know, Ash talks. Everyone's listening. Red and Marty, Chris say something. They go, eh. Hey, uh, Chris, I just want to stop you there. But the numbers have only gone up a thousand since Ash has been on. We had three really? and a half thousand before Ash, uh, and there's just, there's not. And they were here for you, that. Chris. They were here for you. No, they were they here definitely a few. You were here last week. <laughs> Okay, anyway, next week will be 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. Yeah, you go back okay, to your we'll court meeting. We don't want anybody to get mad at you. Yeah, we're going to shut it down anyway. You go back. Yeah. Whoever's mad at you. And, and thank, we, you the, uh, you, thank you for you the thank you for the information, by the way. Tell them What's we that? apologize. What'd you say, Ash? You hang up first. No, I'm kidding, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you.